Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make books in Minecraft. I mean, not with the book and quill, like as in the book can be by Cheese Boy. And when you open it up, you can have colored text, hover events, commands when you click the text. I mean, that's why there's so many pigs around here. Have text show items, have text show zombies, and all other entities. Opening URLs, copying text to clipboards, and jumping to multiple pages. And trust me, it's not that advanced, I think. So, let's begin. Alright, so to start off, we're going to get ourselves a command block. But now, instead of starting in the command block, we're actually going to start in a text editor, because these commands get extremely advanced. So, we can minimize Minecraft to your desktop, and then open your file browser. Go to the drop-down, go to view, and then enable file name extensions. This way, when we create a new file, a text document to be precise, as you can see we have a .txt at the end. So instead of a .txt, we can just call this fancybook.json for JSON. And now my icon changes to a text editor known as Sublime. I'll leave a link in the description, but you can also code in VS Code or Notepad++. So now we can actually start typing in our commands in here. So we can do give at p minecraft written underscore book and then put in a curly bracket, which will also autofill with an end curly bracket because we're using Sublime. So when your cursor is in between them, you can press enter, and that opens them up. That way we can program everything not on one line, because, I mean, it gets long. Anyway, so the first tank we're going to put inside is author. This will be the person who created the book. Because if I get a book in Minecraft, type some jazz in, press sign, it says by Atomic. You can put in whatever title though. And then in the inventory you can see by Atomic. But for author we can do Atomic because that's my name. Or we could do like Jeb underscore. That's where if I press Control A, Control C to copy all the code we've typed in, go to Minecraft, then paste it in here. Give the book, when you try to open it, it will be invalid book tag because it's broken, but the author will be by Jeb. So instead we can do Cheese Boy, a book by Cheese Boy. So after the quotes, we can put in a comma, then enter, then we can put in title, then a colon, two more quotes, then the title of the book. That can be Cheese. Actually, How to Cheese. Then putting that in, the title is How to Cheese by Cheese Boy. But because I like display tags so much, instead of having title, we're just going to leave these empty, put a comma at the end, then do display, name, hyphens, curly brackets, text, how, to, cheese, color, gold, palic, false. If you want to learn more about the display tag alone, you can click the card at the top right. So with this display tag in, now it says how to cheese in gold. Yes, very fancy. But now for the actual book. If you put in a comma after display, then we type in pages, then a colon, then square brackets, press enter, then two hyphens, then press enter in between them, go up, press tab a few times until your cursor's over here. So these hyphens are telling Minecraft to create one page. So if I add in another set of hyphens, then that will be two pages. So going to Minecraft, you've got page one and page two. And if I add in a third set of hyphens, now we have three pages. But a book is pretty boring without content, so what we're going to do is start typing in them. Within the hyphens, we can put in square brackets because we're going to have multiple lines of text in the page. And just where the square bracket is, we can put in two quotes and then a comma. I don't know why that's there, but it seems without it we can't actually type anything. But since it's there, we can. So we're going to put in two curly brackets, and inside them we can just do text hello and just like the display tag we can have all of that information just within the page so if we have text hello then in minecraft we have hello and we can do the same on the second page square brackets within the hyphens but this time we don't need this pair of quotes but now we can just do text and page two and a bunch of explanation marks so now in minecraft hello then on page two page two and then page three with many more explanation marks. And usually on long lines, it will actually start overlapping and going to the next lines. And you want to avoid that because you want each line to be custom text as well. So we can trim a bunch of these. But now let's start focusing on the first page. Obviously we can have text, but we are not limited by the colors. 
we can do dark underscore red bold true strike through and now we've got bold hello with strike through although the color doesn't seem to be working uh, but in colors it should just be color there we go dark red now in other line formats you're not just limited by the word but you can actually go to the next line in the book while being within the same pair of curly brackets so as for being in hello we can do backslash backslash n n and then hello to Essentially, the game has printed hello, then go down the line, then hello too. Because that backslash n is one of the things in JavaScript that actually tells a line to print in a different line. And because they're inheriting the same colors and bolds and strike throughs, both of which are going to have the same code. So to simply add in another line, we can put in a comma, enter, then two more curly brackets. And this will be our next set of text. So we can say hello three, and then immediately put that in the book. Luckily this time, every new set of curly brackets will have its own text, so all the text formats will not be inherited. In other words, just because this doesn't have extra code doesn't mean it should copy the other code. But as you can see, in the text editor, we've got one line, two lines, and yet it is pasting on the same line as the other code. So it is actually required to have a backslash backslash n to tell the program to print to the next line. just like that so we have hello backslash n hello two backslash n hello three and alternatively we don't need a backslash n at the end of this text but then we can have it at the beginning of this text and it works just fine yeah there's going to be a bunch of book iterations now this isn't the end of the story we can keep adding many lines and many pages, but then in the end, it just makes it a normal book. I mean, you might as well just get a book and quill and type in the game. So we're going to add some special text. So as usual, we can just create a line of text. We can do special. And with the backslash in at the previous line, we should have special on its own line. Or it can just break. So it seems I've forgotten a comma. Because when the game types something out, it needs to have a comma at the end of it to know that there's going to be another line coming up. So at the last line, we don't have commas. So yes, this is what your book looks like if it breaks. It prints out the code in the book. It's kind of funny. Get the working one in. Hello one, hello two, hello three, and special. But reasons because this is special, we can add in a comma. Instead of bold, italic, color, we actually have other event. But if we put a colon at the end of that, and then two more curly brackets, then we can put in two quotes, action, colon quotes show underscore text comma quotes then contents colon more curly brackets but now this is just its own display tag as well quotes text special hover and now in minecraft and with the hover event tag if you hover over special it prints out the text special hover and we can even add in the two backslashes and then an n and it will create a line special new line hover and yes we can add in all the colors and bolds and italics there we go and to have multicolor text in the same line obviously around contents we just put in a square bracket on this side and then a square bracket on the other side then we can do text put in hover color dark red bold true so now it can have multiple lines but because these curly brackets are inheriting a little bit of code from these curly brackets so as this says italic true and in the hover section, I'll make that a capital, this section doesn't even have italic. And yet in the game, the bold text is also italic. And it's blue. Oh, because I did dash red, I have to put an underscore. Anyway, so if you put in a comma, quotes, italic, false, then in the game, trash that. Special hover. Fascinating. Into the lava. But after that long strand of text, we can put in a comma. Then over here, we can do more curly brackets, text... Now, hovering over your text is pretty cool, but that's not all what you can do. We can put in click me. Instead of hover event, we can do click event. Event. There we go. Capital E. Then we put in a colon, the curly brackets, action. And instead of show text, it is run underscore command, comma. And instead of contents, it's going to be value. Then a colon, then quotes. And now when you click click me in the book, it's going to run the command in your chat, which means you're going to have to put in slash, and then you can do summon minecraft pig. So as this is executing in the chat, 
And as we all know, the chat has a max character limit, so we can't put in full command block commands within the click event of a book. So now if you copy all the code in Minecraft, paste it in, press the button, then you have a new button, click me, as you can see I forgot to put in the uh, backslash in. I'll just put that in front of the click me. And because click me looks boring, just after these curly brackets, as you can see when you highlight a curly bracket, it will show the end all the way on the other side. So click in that, it will show the beginning there. So these curly brackets end over here, so we can put in a comma, then quotes, color, you can do dark underscore purple into the cheese, get a new book, There we go, dark purple text. So we have special with a hover event, and then click me with a click event. And when you click it, you'll go out of your book, and it will summon a pig. And you can do that every single time. And obviously, you can have both click event and hover event in the same string. So after the color, we can put in a comma, hover event, colon, just repetitive stuff now. Show underscore text. Let me just throw everything away first, then get a command. So now if I hover over click me, it says summons a pig. But the color's not working. Light underscore purple? Yes, light underscore purple works, which is just pink. And just to show that the hover event doesn't replace the click event, we can still summon pigs just fine. So as a quick recap, we can have text with all the colors and formats we want. You can have multiple lines of text, multiple pages of text, hover events, and click events. And those are the most used tags. But what's a command video if I don't tell you everything? Because in the click event, we have the action of run underscore command, but that's not the only click event you can do. And the same for the hover event. Show text is not the only show text in hover event. So if I add in a comma, then go to the next line, just scroll left, curly brackets, text, Make sure to put a backslash in another special color blue. So over here we can do hover event in the tags as usual action. And instead of show underscore text, we can do show underscore item. Then the contents, let me just put in quotes, ID, colon, quotes, Minecraft, colon, sponge. Now if we get the book, we've got a new line, another special. And when you hover over it, it actually renders this text as an item. Sponge as Minecraft Sponge. We can also do cake, Minecraft cake. And we can do diamond underscore sword. And now it's showing a diamond sword with all of its statistics. But you're not limited to just showing items, you can also show entities. In the hover event, after action, instead of show text, show item, we do show underscore entity. And quite literally the same as before, we just do ID, Minecraft, Zombie. Putting that in. Oh, it's broken. That's fun. Oh wait, instead of ID for the show entity contents, we have to do type. And strangely enough, this is not enough to tell Minecraft that this is a zombie. Because now with the correct syntax of type, Minecraft Zombie, the book will still not work due to the fact that every entity has a UUID allocated to it. So if you go to your web browser, and then go to this website, I'll leave a link in the description, it will give you a random UUID every time you refresh the page, which is good. So if you press copy to copy all this text, then go to our command. In zombie, we have to put in a comma, quotes, ID, colon, quotes, and then paste in that UUID. Making this zombie when in the book, apparently unique. So now if I copy all the code, paste it in the command block, get rid of the old book, give the new book. Now the book works, special, the sequel. Hovering over it gives us a type zombie, and then it's UUID, which I have no idea why we need to know that, but apparently we do, so. There you go. Now we've got three variations of hover event with show text, show item, and show entity. We can now move on to the click event again. So going text, another backslash in for a new line. Then we can just add in our click event, action, and instead of run command, open, underscore, URL. Which means if you click 
click me too, it will open a website. So if we put in a comma, quotes, value, colon, quotes, I can do https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash atomic studios. He's a really good YouTuber, I suggest subscribing to him. So now if we copy the text, paste it into the command block, open it up, click me too. If I click it, it's going to prompt you before you open the link, but I know where this goes, so I can just press yes. And it will open in your default browser. And here we are. Obviously, with the knowledge I'm granting you, do not use malicious links. That will just be uh, wrong. If you do so, I'll not only turn your furniture into cheese, I'll turn your entire house and your lawn and your dog into cheese. Moving on. The next click event you can do, click me three. Instead of open URL or run command, we can do copy underscore two underscore clipboard comma quotes value. Now all the text in here will be copied to your clipboard because when I press control A and control C, that copies to your clipboard. So you can actually put something else in here. Subscribe. So now if I copy all the code, go to Minecraft, paste the code in, get the book. Because as you can see, when I paste the text in my chat, it prints out everything because it's in my clipboard. You know how that works. But if I open this up, press click me three, and every time when I click it, it won't close the book. But now if I go to the chat and paste it, it says subscribe. Pretty cool. And for the last click event, and probably a more useful click event, we can call this go to page four. Actually page three, because we only go up to page three. But let's just add in page four then. Text. Welcome to page four. Underlined true. So now we can do click event colon over here action more colons more quotes so instead of copy to clipboard open url or show text we can do change underscore page and a comma value colon and we don't need quotes because we're just putting in a number so this is page one this is page two page three page four i've i mean i've literally printed those words out but we want to go to page four so at this value, we just put in four. So now if you copy all the code, go to Minecraft, paste that in. If I click go to page four, it will take you to page four. So in this case, we can have an entire index of different pages. Then you can simply click them and they'll take you right to it. Yes, you can also put square brackets around these curly brackets. And when I say page four, I can get rid of these. Text four. An explanation marks color gold so now we can also have multicolored lines why didn't i just click go to page four there we go and one last tag i forgot to add before we can call this video complete after the display tag before the pages tag with all of this information we can put in generation colon then we have numbers from zero to three if we put in zero i forgot a bit of comma zero We'll say the book is an original, but if you change it to one, it will be considered a copy of the original. Setting it to two, we'll say the book is a copy of a copy. And now we're done. And that is about everything I know about a Minecraft book in MBT. And that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And if you really enjoyed, you can show support for the channel by liking and subscribing. I've left a bunch of stuff in the description which you can check out. And as for this gigantic command, I'll leave this in my Discord server in the hashtag commands, so you can grab it for yourself, see what works and what doesn't, just in case if you're being a little lazy. Anyways, that's all from me, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.